Hello everyone and welcome back to my stock career in Kerbal Space Program 1.11. In this video I'm going to start off by fixing a mistake I made when I set the difficulty options. I forgot to activate part pressure and g-force limits and I don't remember why I forgot that but somebody in the comments mentioned that so uh, yes uh, we do want those on. That was just a mistake. And uh, yep that's that. I made sure that the terrain is on high in the settings so we should be getting the best terrain settings and we can proceed picking out mission control and we're still trying to rescue Daffel from orbit of Kerbin but we need to put up commsats first so that we don't have what happened last time happen again. Now as far as communications relays we just have this high gain antenna, so we better just get that. <laughs> and we'll have Oscar B's. And here again, obviously, uh, the ant engine is is actually useful. I mean, uh, last time not so useful, but here, 2,560 meters per second will get this anywhere. In fact, we don't need the last Oscar B at all. So we can do this. We could probably package them better if we... I don't know, the problem is our decoupler is huge, isn't it? You know, this is pretty big, and I don't think it's actually hollow. I think it'll bust the antennae if we do it like that. Um, I'm trying to think of how to launch more than one of these at a time. I think we should just go with two Oscar Bs. It's just too hard to stack it like this. I prefer this variant. And we need solar panels anyway. I plan to put them in not... I don't know if I should put them in geosynchronous orbit. Because the range of these antennae might might not be good enough for that. It's 500,000 without the DSM, which it won't be using the DSM because it's relaying through these. So that's not going to be good enough to reach something in geosynchronous. So we're going to be putting them in lower orbit, which means it's going to be a nighttime sign more. But of course, it's not going to care as long as we don't pay attention to them. So there's that going on too. I wonder if the solar panel would counterbalance. Oh yeah, let's add a battery pack. So we'll have a solar panel on one side, battery pack on the other side. I don't suppose we have a nose cone. Nope. Not even a nose cone yet. We really need to work on aerodynamics. Oh, too many parts. Ah, forgot about that. Okay. Alright. We'll try two at a time. Maybe I should underfuel the Oscar Bs. We need it for the form factor because otherwise the satellites are not tall enough to be stacked because of the relay antenna. But. Yeah. Oh, we're past part limit here. Um, Alright, we'll try it like this without that tank. It's gonna be wobbly though. Oops. It's gonna be very wobbly. We can't auto strut yet. And it's gonna have a lot of pressure up front so the drag is gonna be bad. Okay, uh, com, comsat, one. Ah, uh, yeah, this is not gonna be great, really. I uh, maybe I should just put the parachute on. It's probably aerodynamically friendly. It's not that heavy. Oh, but part count. Hmm. Okay, throttle up. SAS on and. Uh, launch. We'll be fine. I'm looking at the electric charge, but I'll be fine. Okay. We want to go steeper anyway, so that we keep in line of sight with the KSC. Uh, uh, high probability of flipping. No. Uh, no. Uh, hold it. Hold it. Full joystick usage. No! Come on. 
Stop. Uh, the fins would have uh, gone above our part count too, so that wasn't an option. Oh, oh, okay, that's the end of that stage. <laughs> um, let me just make sure. All right, separation and ignition. Here, over here, over here, over here. Good terrier. We might have to have the little satellites finish orbit on their own. Shouldn't be a problem. So what we'll do, I don't know what's the stage time on the sand engine. 10 minutes. Hmm. We could separate them off first and then each of them do a separate getting to orbit burn. That's another way. Well, I think I should just let it burn out, actually. So if we lose communication, we'll just keep burning with this. It's already going down. Oh, we lost comms. I probably should have kept it at the high angle, I don't know. No! No, no. It's gone bad. I think we should just do one at a time. Boy, the, the stock parts do sure survive a whole lot, except for the antennae, of course. This has become a ballistic missile sort of thing. Nice mountain textures. Okay. Fine. This was obviously too wobbly. Um, we can make a firmer base and why do they have deployed anyway? I swear, the game is glitchier now. <laughs> I don't know, with the weird periapsis thing and then... Now, why why do they have deployed here? What's that mean? I hope, uh, let's move these up too, because I don't know if it's gonna bust those. And... We don't need so much of this. Maybe we should just use a whole bunch of sparks. No, they don't surface mount, so we don't we don't have a way of it. Well, yeah, we don't have an efficient way of attaching them right now. Well, maybe the Oscar refuel tanks. Oh yeah, one point one nine. But then that sea level is too low. One point one eight sea level thrust to weight ratio. Well, the probe now has two engines, so it could probably complete orbit and everything. We could maybe fit fit one on the center. It's like a really, really mini Saturn V. Uh, desperately in need of nose cones. Okie dokie. Throttle up, SAS on, and launch. Sparks! The last launch would have worked still. If we uh, just tossed it up a little bit steeper, then the little ant engine would have made orbit, but... We need to avoid staging at max Q. This is... This has been a persistent issue for us. Make sure that happens simultaneously. Okay... Um... There's not much coasting. Go! looking at it and oh gosh maybe this has too little thrust weight ratio one yeah one might not have been enough gosh darn it <laughs> ambitious but rubbish again no don't go retrograde it work in realism overhaul the thrust weight ratios, it's not as bad in realism overhaul with the flippiness. They, it just doesn't flip like that that much. <sighs> that's one thing that's easier in realism overhaul this far. Okay, I think we've got enough. We can go horizontal now. But we don't have a lot of delta V left. 
The antennae are back to being extended a little bit for some reason, I notice. This is so not gonna work. <laughs> uh, shucks. Uh, it's not gonna work. Well, this has been very disappointing. Clearly, my year of not having to do commsats has definitely hurt here. Also, putting the parachute on the top might have helped in this situation. First of all, we would have recovered it. Potentially. Well, the antenna would have broken off. Second of all, maybe the aerodynamics would have helped. So we had less drag. Yeah. This has been super good. Um, okay, fine. Focus on thrust to weight ratio. Just focus on thrust to weight ratio. Well, this decoupler isn't going to separate from this, so if we shift these up, they shouldn't get hurt, in theory. I wanted to put two ant engines, so this had the thrust to weight ratio to bring us to orbit properly. And that'll be on a nice stable platform. We should control from this one. We don't want that. Okay, maybe the aerodynamics will help. Comsat 3. <laughs> I can't believe this. And I'll go steeper. Oh, 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 aerodynamic drag. Ah, the parachute's not good enough. The parachute's not good enough. Ah. So efficient. We're gonna run out of the stage. Oh, no. Okay. And stage. Nope, uh, you were going in the right direction just now. You were going in the right direction just now. There. I'm just not used to having to make orbit in 2-3 minutes. We have to go battery side first. Up, oh, the batteries actually survived this time. And parachute. Okay. Okay, this whole this whole method has clearly been bad. I don't like these commsats like this anymore. We're gonna have to come up with a different style of commsat. Recover vessel. Come on, recover. Okay, well what what we can do is just simplify this. Instead of being all particular about it and trying to be fancy, let's learn our lesson and simplify. I'll keep the that on the nose. We're not going to have a separate satellite at all. It's going to be attached to the Terrier Direct. It is going to be like SCORE, which was the first commsat, which was basically built into the stage. Why? Why is it like this? I don't understand. Be, be, be more like this one. Oh, this has been all sorts of fun. Comsat 4. <laughs> Brottle up, SAS on, ignition. Don't go too far. Fins are not perfect. Fins may betray you too. Okay, well that's probably better. Um, let's go with the Terrier now. Good combination of Delta V and thrust weight ratio now. We really need to cover this area here. And those other antennae are, have a range of 500 kilometers. So the highest we want to go is 500 kilometers divided by the square root of 2. 353... oh, we went too far. <laughs> Just as I was saying that. Uh, let's retrograde that a bit and let's get those antennae out. Barely in line of sight. No, oh, hold on. A one hour orbit will be easy to predict. I guess it doesn't really matter too much. Let's just uh, bring that 
Napolapsis straight down. A 50 minute orbit isn't too bad. It's a little bit lopsided, but it's a regular period. Okay. We'll probably need a few like that. How much do these cost, anyway? Hmm, 6,000. I guess it's worth it. Let's just get on with it. Another one of these will do. Maybe I should take off the parachute, but then the drag might be bad. Okay, off we go. At least they're quick. Okay, separation. So the other one is over here. It's on the opposite side of the planet right now. Oop, too far again. And we want it to match periods, but obviously it'll wobble a bit because we can see the additional digits. So they will eventually come to overlap and everything. Okay, and burn. They aren't really talking to each other like this. 50 minutes. Okay. So that's another one up here. I think this will be fine for now. Let's try and rescue the Kerbal. Baffle. Um, I think we'll simplify. We don't want the Science Junior this time. And maybe for stability's sake we'll just have one of these tanks with these. And have... Uh, should we have four of them? Oh, we've got plenty of part count. How much do the ant engines cost? 110. It's probably worthwhile. Still wish we just didn't have that plate there. And we have enough for fins, so we'll put fins. We're sparing no expense this time. I feel like I could do with more thrust to weight ratio here. Maybe we can shift that tank down and remove this one here. Well, could flip out. Could be okay. But our main problem last time was lack of comms, so... We need to make sure that we're okay with that this time. That's got 5k... Well, that's just 5,000... That's 5 kilometers? So that's 5 kilometers. Um, uh, that's not good enough. This uh, Probodobodyne has also 5k, so we do need antennae. We'll unlock. The surface mount one doesn't require me to extend it, so we'll just get that and go direct. We've placed them in a position where that's okay. So we'll have two solar panels and one of these. We'll be bringing them back anyway. Okay, I think that's the way to go. Ant Rescue 2. Okay, Thoral up, SAS on, targeting our Daffle. Uh, our Daffle. Maybe that'll be better than last time. Okay, and engage. Throttle up. <laughs> it throttled me down somehow. That's not nice. That one should be able to communicate with us, but by the time we get over here, it's going to be rough. Okay, barrier. Well, we've got a vessel link. I just want to make sure about that. Okay. Taking a look at that intersect. Okay, so we need to... A little bit more like this. We've got fuel, I think. Well, we're communicating back through that commsat. So that's working. And... Well, let's get rid of our relative velocity to the target. Six kilometers away. We are almost in orbit, not quite. <laughs> uh, 
Can I redeem myself after this disaster of a video? Okay, we're going towards at 10. Oh, we've picked up this station here, so that's good. Not bad. I mean, it's worked out. We're closing to 200 meters. And we'll be doing that rendezvous still within comm range of this place, I think. Okay, uh, turn, 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 turn. Burn. Okay. Okay, at this point, uh, I want to ditch this stage. So, what I'm gonna do is quickly retro burn this and then use the ant engines to bring us back up. So, we're gonna actually depart, separate, turn, and go this way. So, we dispose of that in the atmosphere. It'd be better not to have done that. We were very close to the target and everything. Let's slow down more so that in a pinch she can rendezvous with us easily. Okay, stop. Alright. And Daffle. EVA. Daffle's an engineer. So, mm, well, eventually, eventually we'll need an engineer. Not our most immediate need, but uh, that's the tag side. The B612 tag looks a lot like the front hatch of this, though. That's a downside to using that. I mean, just in terms of color, because it has the same blue. Okay, Daffle is inside. We've got plenty of fuel to deorbit, and I'm not gonna waste any time. It's been a heck of a day so far, so <laughs> I'm not gonna take my chances or anything. Make sure we're not bumping into Daffle's old pod. No, oh, there it is. Separating off the service module. Well, we definitely overshot the KSC this time. Okay, we're through, no problems. Like, 20 of later was lost. Deploying parachute. Okay, well, we got the rescue done, despite all sorts of Horror as far as trying to do commsats, clearly, clearly out of practice with uh, early commsats. Given higher part count, different parts like fairings or something, you know, maybe stuff would have worked out differently. But as it is, clearly was not thinking straight there. So, recover vessel. Okay, so... Oh, is that... No, it's Daffle. Why is it... Uh, it's like double F, because the PH is an F, and then there's an F as well. So that's interesting. Anyway, level 1 for Daffle. Our first level 1 engineer, actually. And a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of science earned. But, we got money, though with all the money I spent... Recovering Daffle. Well, we saved on hiring an extra engineer, so there's that. Explore the moon has popped up again. No, oh, well, that that's now land on the moon, plant a flag on the moon, walk on the surface of the moon. I think we're gonna need more science before actually doing that, though. But all right, let's accept the contract. I mean, we've already got plant a flag on the moon. It's sort of obvious, but but then we can't do that and bring the Moonstone back at the same time unless we unlock the Mission Control upgrade. Science Day from space around Kerbin is easy. Gosh darn it. But this is way more lucrative. <laughs> the advance is nice. The advance uh, covers that m more than that. So I'll, I'll take this advance just in case they decide to stop offering it. Well, five days. But anyway, let's take it. Okay, 
So maybe we'll need to do more science first before trying to land on the moon. I think so. But uh, I'll see next time. So for now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.